Welcome everybody to our presentation, T-Cell Culture with Miltony Biotech. In the next 45 minutes, you will learn about Miltony Biotech's extensive T-Cell culture portfolio, from dedicated T-Cell media and cytokines to T-Cell stimulation reagents and suppression assays. This will also include relevant application data as well as whole workflows. So, enjoy. Let's begin with a brief presentation of our company. Miltony Biotech was founded 1989 by Stefan Miltony himself and is the largest owner-managed company in Germany. We have two main sites in Germany, one in Bergisch Gladbach, where the headquarters are located, and one in Tetero with our GMP manufacturing facility. Our products are sold in over 100 countries and we currently employ around 3,000 employees worldwide. Our mission is to serve the needs in life science research and to translate new scientific findings into clinical applications. As a company, we cover the complete T-cell workflow, from sample preparation to cell separation to cell analysis. Of course, the topic of today, T-cell culture. When we talk about T-cell culture, it mainly consists of three categories. First, T-cell stimulation and activation, including polyclonal activation tools, functional grade antibodies, TLR layer ligands, as well as peptide pools for efficient antigen-specific T-cell stimulation. Second, T-cell expansion and culture, with our dedicated T-cell medium Texmex in all its variants as a central product. And third, we have T-cell polarization, that consists mainly of our MAC cytokines, that with the lot-specific activity guarantee highest reproducibility. You see, Milton's T-cell culture portfolio is really complete and rounds off every T-cell workflow. Of course, for cell culture, quality is the main criterion. However, what does that mean? Let's look at it from the angle of the challenges a researcher has to face performing T-cell culture. Reproducibility is essential to successfully generate results and to publish. Time pressure is thereby a big issue and repeating failed or non-reproducible experiments has to be avoided. Indeed, time is money, so time saving goes along with cost saving, another big challenge. But saving costs means also correct dosing of reagents without wasting, especially when working, for example, with delicate primary cells. That is why we provide max cytokines with a lot of specific activity that allows exact dosing. Cell culture reagents, furthermore, need to meet certain regulatory requirements to be translatable into a clinical setting. With all that in mind, the max cell culture portfolio indeed provides best quality. How do we provide this best quality with max cell culture reagents? First, Miltony Biotech cell culture reagents are optimized to support complete experimental workflows without gaps to allow for consistently high quality throughout the whole experiment. Second, we have a strong focus on standardization since reproducible and reliable results are the key for success. And third, we provide reliable tools for the development of cellular therapies with our Max GMP product line. Following the T-cell culture categories from before, we can divide the MAX T-cell culture portfolio in three chapters. MAX media and cytokines, stimulation reagents, and finally our MAX GMP quality grade for a seamless translation into a clinical setting. Let's start with MAX media and cytokines for efficient and reproducible T-cell cultivation. Our first contender is Texmax, our dedicated T-cell medium. Texmax was originally developed as a serum-free culture medium for the manufacturing of engineered T-cells in a clinical setting on our Prodigy manufacturing platform. Consequently, it is available in different formats, such as bottles or bags, with and without phenolred, and, apart from the max GMP quality grade, now also in research grade. Texmax is completely serum-free and without animal-derived components yet it assures optimal growth with high expansion rates. Serum can, however, be added optionally. The respective cytokines, depending on your application, need always to be added separately. We successfully tested Texmax in many experimental contexts, such as expansion of conventional T-cells, T-Rex, and double-negative T-cells, in T-helper cell differentiation, 
and of course, CAR T cell manufacturing in a clinical and a research setting. Texmex is the way to go for all demanding T cell applications that need highest and most reproducible performance, regardless of a research or clinical setting. Thereby, start your experiments with Texmex for easy and fully functional translation from a research setting into a clinical setting, such as the aforementioned CAR T cell manufacturing. As you can see, Texmex outperforms serum-free competitors and RPMI alike in a 14-day T-cell culture reaching up to 80-fold expansion without the addition of serum. With Texmex, different quality grades, such as research grade and max GMP grade, everything from basic research in academia to commercial manufacturing in pharma industry is covered. Texmex Media are high-quality products, manufactured with superior quality standards and extensively tested, serum and xeno-free, ideal for a seamless translation from basic research to clinical-scale cell manufacturing. When talking about T-cell culture and media, naturally, also cytokines and functional-grade antibodies have to be included. Miltony Biotech offers a huge variety of cytokines and functional-grade antibodies to allow for any kind of T-cell culture condition, from stimulation to expansion to subset polarization. This comprehensive overview, for example, shows the different T-helper cell subtypes and how they can be polarized in vitro using our max cytokines and functional-grade antibodies. It also shows how the respective phenotypes can then be assessed using our max flow cytometry portfolio. Moreover, I'd like to point out that apart from polarizing cytokines and functional grade antibodies, we also offer flow antibodies for the according analysis of the different T-cell phenotypes via surface markers, cytokines, and transcription factors. Thereby, our cytokines and analysis tools are not only limited to C-cells, but we offer much more varieties, such as for dendritic cells, NK cells, as indicated on our webpage. But what makes MAX cytokine so special? Not the only, but for sure one of the main advantages is the precise reproducibility that can be achieved with MAX cytokines. The reliable testing using international standards and the resulting lot-specific activity guarantee a high-quality threshold with maximum standardization. This results in highest usage efficiency since no tedious pretesting of every new lot is needed, and the risk of overdosage is minimized, which saves further costs. Lastly, max cytokines offer highest flexibility with their different sizes, custom fillings, and quality grades, such as premium, research, and max GMP grade. And indeed, highest quality manufacturing and reliable testing using VHO standards results in superior biological activity, as can be seen here on the left, with, for example, human IL-2. Furthermore, as depicted on the right, by applying highest quality testing standards, we obtain minimal variations in QC. High activity, minimal variations, and a lot-specific activity guarantee not only highest reproducibility, but also to save time and costs. In addition to that, our max cytokines can also be ordered in different sizes and as custom fillings. Let's have a look at our premium grade cytokines and why they are the best choice for every researcher. First, as shown on the left and published by Thorpe in 2000, variability in biological activity of cytokines, in this case IL-4, strongly depends on the calibration standard used. As depicted under A, different so-called in-house standards for assay calibration are highly variable. However, as can be seen under B, the VHO international standard in international units used by the same laboratories for their calibration assays show a lower degree of variability. Second, as so shown on the right, Efficient cytokine usage with a specific unique dosing is essential. The green arrows indicate concentration of cytokine input to reach maximum cellular response. Identical activity can be reached with cytokine concentrations of, for example, 100 international units per milliliter and 1,000 international units per milliliter. Yellow and red arrows indicate insufficient cytokine input. 
So not knowing the exact dosage or activity either leads to suboptimal results or waste of precious cytokines, and in the end to higher experimental variability and higher costs. But with knowing the exact cytokine activity, you do not need to oversaturate anymore and can use up to 10 times less of a given cytokine. Max premium grade cytokines with their lot specific activity offer the unique possibility to exactly and reproducibility dose in international units instead of nanograms per milliliter. A very convenient and reproducible way to use max cytokines are our TH1, TH2, and TH17 cytoboxes mouse. As the name indicates, these all-in-one kits allow easy and fast polarization of mouse TH1, TH2, and TH17 cells. The red boxes show that they contain all needed cytokines and functional grade antibodies, as well as a detailed protocol for the efficient T helper cell polarization. As depicted in the dot plots, using the cytoboxes results in efficiently polarized mouse T helper cell subtypes each expressing their signature cytokines and transcription factors. Beyond that, here you can see how efficiently mouse TH cells are polarized with the majority of cultured cells producing the cytokine typical for the respective T helper cell subtype. Thereby, best results are achieved with our specialized T cell medium Texmax. For further details, please have a look at our application note containing a detailed protocol and the results to be expected, which can be downloaded from our website in the T-cell application section. The last cell culture reagent in this chapter is the transduction enhancer vector fusin 1. This non-toxic, histidine-rich, amphifatic peptide enhances efficiently for lengthy viral and retroviral transduction and is compatible with static transduction and with spinoculation. Conveniently, no pre-coding is needed. Vectorfusin 1 is simply added to the cells and, as you see here on the right side, thereby boosts drastically the transduction rates. With being available up to max GMP grade, Vectorfusin 1 is ideally suited for translational applications, such as the CAR T-cell transduction process. Our next chapter covers T-cell stimulation for efficient activation and expansion. Here we discriminate between two different cell stimulation approaches. Polyclonal stimulation that activates T-cells regardless of specificity and antigen-specific stimulation that activates only T-cells of a certain specificity. The first is achieved usually via antibody-mediated CD3, CD28 engagement, if not chemically or by a so-called superantigen antigen. The latter is performed via certain antigen peptides, for example presented by an antigen presenting cells, such as a dendritic cell. A very classical way of polyclonal T-cell activation are our bead-based activation and expansion kits. Based on MaxiBead technology, they can be flexibly loaded with biotinylated antibodies of choice, such as anti-CD2, CD3, and CD28, to activate human, mouse, and even non-human primate T-cells as well as T-Rex. Please note that all our T-cell activation reagents perfectly harmonize with our max cell separation as part of a workflow solution and are of course best combined with the specialized T-cell medium Texmax. Exhibiting high expansion rates up to several hundred fold, our activation and expansion beads are most efficient. With the high capacities, they are one of the most economic solutions when compared to other bead-based activation solutions. Of course, also our T-cell and T-Rec expansion kits, we have application notes available. Again, detailing protocol, pro protocol procedures and resulting data that can be downloaded from our website. Let's have a closer look at the T-Rec expansion kit, one of our highlight products. Apart from the high expansion rates, here up to 40-fold within 21 days, I want to point out that the T-Rex expansion kit guarantees a stable FOXP3 expression even during prolonged expansion periods. It is a well-known problem that T-Rex lose FOXP3 expression in culture. As you see in these dot plots, 
even after 21 days of expansion, the frequency of FOXP3 positive T-Rex is very similar to the starting frequency. Again, please find the corresp corresponding application note on our website. When talking about T-Rex culture, also T-Rex suppression assays are an important topic to address. With our T-Rex suppression inspector human, we often optimized all-in-one solution to measure human T-Rex suppressive capacities. The kit offers maximum convenience and easy handling with striking results, again perfectly harmonizing with max cell separation and the Texmax medium. Just co-culture T-Rex and T-responder cells activated with the activation reagent provided in the kit and then assess how your T-Rex suppress T-responder cells proliferation at different ratios. Also here, please find the corresponding application note on our website in the T-cell application section. A completely novel approach to T-cell activation and expansion is our new nanometric space activation reagent T-cell Transact. Human T-cells are efficiently activated and expanded based on classical CD3 and CD28 engagement. However, T-cell transacts benefits in handling and convenience are striking. It is ready to use without the need of preloading of any beads. It is easy and volumetrically to dose. And it can be simply removed by washing. As transact is available up to max GMP grade, it can be sterile filtered and is simply removed by washing. It is ideally suited for automation and translational applications, such as CAR T cell manufacturing processes. A related application note, as well as a webinar, can be found on our homepage in the T cell application section. The data clearly shows how efficiently T cell transact activates both human CD4 and CD8 T cells, resulting in strong proliferation and high expansion rates. After 48 hours, activation markers CD25 and CD69 are well upregulated. Most cells proliferate after seven days, and as you see on the right side, an expansion rate of over 100 fold is achieved after 14 days of culture, outperforming two competitors. Again, as all our activation reagents, T cell transact is best combined with our specialized T cell medium Texmax to ensure best results. We learned about two different polyclonal activation reagents. The bead based T cell activation expansion kits and the nanometrics based T cell transact. Both efficiently activate and expand T cells. But which one is to choose when? The T cell activation expansion kits allow for maximum flexibility with the option to load individual antibodies of choice. Furthermore, distinct mouse, human and non-human primate T-cell and T-Rex versions are available. This flexibility is especially interesting for basic, basic researchers that need a broader application spectrum. T-cell transact, on the other hand, is extremely convenient to use and easy to translate into clinics but restricted to the activation of human T-cells via CD3 and CD28 engagement. This makes TransAct especially interesting for translational researchers, for example in the CAR T-cell field, but also to basic researchers that need less flexibility, but a higher convenience. Our third and last option for polyclonal T-cell stimulation is Cytostim, the non-toxic SEB alternative. Cytostim crosslinks the T cells TCR to the APC's MHC complex. This means, as with SEB, the T cells need the presence of an antigen presenting cell, such as dendritic cells, to be stimulated properly with Cytostim. Since the reporter crosslinking of Cytostim is antibody mediated, no toxic superantigen like SEB is involved. However, as seen in the dot plots of CD154 and interferon gamma expression below, the efficiency is very well comparable to SEB. So with Cytostim, no complicated to handle and dangerous reagent is needed, but we offer a simple to use and effective alternative. Another T-cell stimulation approach, as opposed 
to the polyclonal stimulation is the antigen-specific T-cell stimulation. This is performed via peptide pools covering a respective antigen of choice. In the presence of APCs, only the T-cells that are specific for the, for the given antigen are activated. Thereby, the most effective stimulation of antigen-specific T-cells is achieved reliably with peptivator peptide pools. This extensive panel of virus, fungi, microbiota and tumor-specific antigens with over 100 specificities consists of 15 mere peptides with 11 amino acid overlaps covering the complete sequence of the respective antigen. The peptide composition ensures the optimal stimulation of both CD4 and CD8 T cells. Advantages of peptivators from Milton in Biotech include that they are water soluble and consequently no toxic DMSO has to be used. Peptivators are part of a workflow solution, the antigen specific T cell workflow, and allow thereby smooth experimental procedures. And finally, peptivators are available up to max GMP grade for translational applications. Not to forget, we also offer TLR like ligands to specifically stimulate TLR positive cells via, for example, TLR3, 7, 8, and 9 agonists and antagonists. Here are some examples of the hundreds of antigen specificities. And indeed, our peptivator peptide pools efficiently stimulate antigen-specific CD4 and CD8 T cells, as here assessed by interferon gamma expression. Furthermore, for high-throughput applications, we also offer our peptivators in a 696-well format to save you time and hassle, since early quoting is not necessary. An outstanding application for the peptivators and the respective analysis of antigen-specific Kelly stimulated CD4 plus T cells is our unique rapid ARTA protocol. Thereby, antigen specifically activated CD4 plus T cells are magnetically enriched via their CD154 expression, fluorescently labeled with antibodies of choice directly on the enrichment column, and then finally analyzed on a flow cytometer. CD154 is an ideal marker to identify and enrich CD4 positive T cells that are antigen specifically activated. Consequently, this approach is so sensitive that even the rarest of the antigen specific T cells can be detected. In this example, as described, by Bacher and colleagues in 2013 and 2015, PBMCs were stimulated with Aspergillus fumigatus for seven hours, stained for surface markers and cytokines, and enriched based on their CD154 expression. This enriched antigen-specific T cells around 85 times and thereby facilitated a reliable analysis of rare Aspergillus reactive T cells. At this point, I'd like to highlight our antigen-specific T-cell webinar as well as the rapid RT application note that are both available on our T-cell application webpage. In the previous slides, we learned that most cell culture products are available, are available in max GMP grade to facilitate high-quality translational applications. So, what does max GMP quality mean? Well, let's find out. Max GMP quality provides the respective products with all needed certificates and documentation, as well as supplement informations and descriptions to facilitate ex vivo processing for cell manufacturing. Max GMP is thereby backed up by a certified quality management system to ensure highest standards. Max GMP comprises T cell activation and expansion reagents, cell culture reagents such as cytokines and media, as well as culture and cryopreservation bags as part of an end to end approach to cell therapy research with proven performance throughout the complete manufacturing process. Talking about quality. All Max GMP media are manufactured and tested to the highest quality standards for optimal performance, consistency, and safety. This means that they are animal component free, produced in a strictly controlled environment, and undergo extensive QC testing with provided documentation for traceability and qualification of raw materials. As the final part of this presentation, I'd like to highlight some T-cell applications that are covered by our T-cell workflows. 
So in the following, I will present very briefly four workflows that specifically benefit from the superior quality of MUX T-cell culture reagents. Of course, we have more than those four T-cell workflows on our webpage, www.miltonybiotech.com. Consequently, you'll find there not only the here presented workflows with the respective application nodes for download, but also many more. Let's start with our T-cell activation and expansion workflow that is of pivotal importance for so many T-cell applications. Thereby, reliable and efficient cell culture results are essential for the success of the intended downstream application. First, T-cells of a given subtype are isolated with highest purity using our MAX microbeads or isolation kit. Then the T-cells are activated and expanded, for example with the T-cell activation and expansion kits or TransAct, TexMix medium, as well as the MAX cytokines, such as our IL-2 premium grade. Lastly, the phenotype and activation status is analyzed using, for example, our reaffinity recombinant antibodies and the max quant flow cytometer. Talking about T-cell activation and expansion and its importance also for complex downstream applications, let's have a look at the CAR T-cell research workflow that is, of course, fully translatable into clinics. In the CAR T-cell research workflow, first CD4 plus and CD8 plus T-cells are isolated using our MAX microbeads. Then the T-cells have to be activated before transduction using T-cell transact and expanded in TexMax in the presence of MAX cytokines such as IL-2 or the combination of IL-7 and IL-15. Hereby, not only the highest performance is essential, but also reliability, reproducibility, and the easy translation from a research setting into a clinical setting, which is typical for CAR T cell research. In the end, but also already during the ongoing manufacturing, the phenotype and functionality of the resulting CAR T cells is assessed using our flow portfolio, such as the reaffinity recombinant antibodies the max Black cytokine kits, and the max quant flow cytometer. Another very cell culture-driven workflow is the polarization of CD4 plus T helper cells. Naive CD4 plus T helper cells are gently isolated using our naive T cell isolation kits. For the polarization into the various T helper cell subtypes, of course, our max cytokines and TexMax medium are the best choice. And then the phenotype and cytokine secretion is assessed, again, using our reaffinity recombinant antibodies, the MAXPLEX cytokine kits, and the MAXQUANT flow cytometer. And lastly, we also offer a complete portfolio for T regulatory cells. We have several T reg isolation kits to isolate highly pure human and mouse T regulatory cells. The T-Regs are then cultured in TexMax medium and expanded, for example, with our T-Reg expansion kits. The phenotype and suppressive capacitive can then be assessed using our reaffinity recombinant antibodies and the T-Reg suppression inspector on the max quant flow cytometer. Just to give you an idea, these were only some of the T-cell applications and workflows that include our reliable cell culture portfolio. Please note that we do not only offer high-quality T-cell culture products, but also products for NK cells, dendritic cells, tumor cells, B cells, and stem cells. On our webpage, www.miltonybiotech.com, you will find more info on our cell culture products in form of flyers and brochures, application notes, protocols, webinars, and presentations, as well as scientific posters. We have reached the end of this presentation on T-cell culture. Thank you very much for your attention.